2023, Vijay, when you design a program, when you talk about a program, you have a budget. Then you say, all right, you know, we're going to get some from a sponsorship. We're going to get some for these activities. And then you put up a budget. It doesn't mean that you're going to spend all. It doesn't mean that everything will come from government. So let me just give this. Total budget was 500,000 for Girmit Day and Ratu Sukuna Day. Because this was the first time after 15, 16 years that we had a Girmit holiday, we had a Ratu Sukuna holiday, and we wanted to give it the prominence, a national prominence. And we both decided that for each of the two days, the program activities, we should have some academic side uh, uh, activities as well. And we had one of the most successful international conference. People coming from Suriname, people coming from Mauritius, Guyana, India. And we got this huge international publicity about Girmit, uh, you know, in Fiji, about the indenture system in Fiji. The intellectual rigor, the intellectual, uh, you know, papers that came through put Fiji on the map. And they were complaining about that. So, out of the budget of 500, the total that was spent, total actual expenditure, Vijay, 380,000, $308.76. Out of that 380, $308.76, $125,000 came through sponsorship. And we've got the list of uh, sponsors. Government funding, therefore, total utilized was $255,308.76. For the Global Girmit Institute and Conference Expenses, and the reason why we got Global Girmit to do the conference, because that was the only uh, institute, people like Dr. Ganesh Chan and others, who could pull an international conference in, a, in such a short period of time. Now, that agreement to provide funding for conference through the Global Girmit Institute was done through proper channels, through an agreement vetted by the Solicitor General's office, signed by the Permanent Secretary, and every cent, every cent, and we made sure that we got a audited uh, report of every single cent because we knew that people like Chaudhary would jump, you know, will, 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 because he obviously doesn't like Ganesh Chan. Ganesh Chan used to be his Labour Party man. And, and Ganesh Chan uh, was, left the Labour Party long ago. So this is all political. And then he lied, and there are some deranged, you know, bloggers also out there, that I gave money to my wife. Yes, my wife was a trustee of the organization many years before that, you know. She's no longer there. But for them to come out and say that I gave money to my wife is, is, is like the lowest political, uh, you know, um, thuggery by people like Chaudhary and others uh, who, who seem to think um, that, you know, being a trustee of an organization, it's like um, I give um, millions of dollars to USP, uh, to FNU, my wife works at the university. Tomorrow they might say, you know, I'm giving money to my wife. This is the logic, the warped logic that Mahendra Chaudhary and others tried to uh, come up with. I've not been talking about this because I know that a large majority of the people understand where they're coming from. But for somebody like Mahendra Chaudhary to keep bringing this issue up, when we have already explained, and we have told him that we have every record, accountability and transparency of every cent that went into the Girmit, uh, you know, expenditure. And of course, you know, the, the financial system within the Ministry of Finance. I don't deal with that. It's a permanent secretary. And every cent has been accounted for. Now, he is the last man, Vijay, to talk about transparency and accountability. I mean, we all know that he was hiding two, more than $2 million in Australia. 
Then he claimed that that money was given to him to settle in Australia. He is still in Fiji. If he had the money, if he was given the money to live, go and live in Australia, he should go to Australia. Or if he is living in Fiji, he should refund that money to whoever gave it to him. So these, these are the questions that I want to ask and, and I really don't want to get into this kind of debate because I know uh, that I take government taxpayer funds seriously and I tell everyone that deals with me, everyone that knows in the last 14 months, every cabinet minister, every uh, government institution that as Minister of Finance, it is my responsibility to make sure that every single cent is accounted for in a transparent and accountable manner. And we, we are doing that. So that's on the, on the funding, Vijay. No. And, and for this year's funding, we allocated 230,000. 30,000, of course, was uh, for some upgrade work in anticipation of the programs at the Girimit Center. For years, you know, that place has not had the kind of investment that they needed. And the 200 was for the uh, program. And, uh, of course, uh, they would, they would uh, provide the, I mean, part of the system is, is been given to the Ministry of Multi-Ethnic Affairs. And the government accountability system will take care of every single cent that was spent. Uh, so, where is, and Rinesh Sharma, is lying on Facebook. He's lying on Facebook. Vijay, this is the kind of uh, lies. They tell the lies in Parliament. They go out on Facebook. When they meet people, this is the kind of lies they tell. Yeah. My issue in relation to you, you touched on a very important issue of uh, you watching the expenditure mm. and spending of taxpayers' money and uh, the, the accusations or allegations being made against you mm. that everything, even you're going out of your, your way to ensure everything is audited to make sure that uh, the taxpayer funds are spent efficiently and effectively. What's your message to the people? Put away the deranged uh, people who are talking on Facebook. Vijay, my message to every citizen of this country and those who are interested in Fiji, I came into politics. I fought in the opposition for eight years for transparency and accountability, for the freedom of the media. I have maintained that principle. I provide information to the media. I talk to the media. We have allowed every institution. We have, we have gone through a review of the Audit Act. We've got a new uh, Auditor General very uh, qualified uh, omen, years of experience. We have our own internal audit and I want to assure the people of this country, as long as I'm finance minister, as long as I'm finance minister, everybody in government, right from the Honorable Prime Minister to cabinet ministers and institutions know that I do not sign anything until I'm convinced that the process has been followed that the procurement regulations have been followed and that our ministry, 